What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cole Myers with ColeMyersStudios.com, bringing you another segment of Be a Better Rapper Now. And today, I'm going to be teaching you how to know where each syllable lands within each bar. All right, and there's a few key benefits for knowing this. All right, one, it allows you to structure your lyrics with accuracy. Okay, a lot of people don't realize rappers are musicians. Okay, it's just not obvious because we don't play a physical instrument that you carry around. Our musical instrument is our mouths, it's our words, it's our lyrics. Okay, and our lyrics sound so good because we're doing something musical with our words. Okay, and so as you're writing your raps and you're trying to memorize your rap verses and stuff like that, you have to memorize the placement of all your syllables, how they land on each bar, how your verse begins, um, how you transition from one bar to the other. Um, and so you need to keep track of that so you can rap your verse the same way over and over and over again. Okay, so this is why it's important to know where each syllable lands within each bar so you can remember your rap flow, okay? This also will help you memorize, uh, once again, the beginning and the ending of each bar. Okay, that's very key um, to know where you come in at and where you exit each bar. All right, it's also gonna help you with the placement of your rhyme schemes. What makes a rhyme scheme sound so tight is you place a word around a certain beat within a bar and then on the following bar, you place another word that rhymes with that in the same place within the bar. And that's what gives it a strong connection with one another. If they were in totally different places, let's say you rhymed on beat number four on one bar and then you rhyme on beat number two with that same word on the, the following bar, they're not gonna have a stronger connection. Yeah, you're rhyming, but they're not taking place in the same uh, place within the bar. So they're not gonna have as strong of a connection. All right, and another major key benefit of knowing where each syllable lands within the bar is also gonna help you keep track of your breaths. Okay, which is super crucial because um, if you miss one breath, it can cause everything you're doing to fall apart. And this also ties directly into your rap voice, the quality of your rap voice. You, If you want to have the best rap voice possible, you need to make sure you're getting enough air into your lungs. And because the air in your lungs is almost like the gas tank uh, to a rapper. And if you deplete your lungs too much, the quality of your rap voice is going to diminish and nobody wants that. So typically as rappers, we take breaths often. We don't typically wait to take a breath when we feel like we're about to run out of breath. We typically take breaths before we run out of breath and that way we always preserve our vocal quality, okay? So in order for you to be able to know where each syllable lands within each bar, um, it's gonna uh, help to, to do the following things. Okay, step number one is load the instrumental into your doll. Step number two, detect the tempo of the instrumental. And step three, ensure the instrumental is aligned to your DAW's grid properly. Now, if I just lost you there, don't worry. I did two videos before this video, which breaks down everything I just said in detail, okay? So be sure to watch those videos. I did a video on how to structure your rap lyrics with bar sheets, which is gonna teach you how to use bar sheets, how to get the bar sheets, all that good stuff. And then the other video was five reasons you should be using a doll to write your songs, which is also going to show you how to lock the instrumental to the grid and detect tempo and all that good stuff. Okay, so be sure you check those out and then come back to this and then you can pick up where we are right now. Okay, so step number four is going to be record rough draft vocals into your doll. Okay, so, you know, you're working on a song, you got your lyrics sounded the way that you like them, but you don't want to forget how they sound okay and so you go ahead and record your, your rough draft vocals okay you get that down okay now step number five is going to be it's time to start structuring what you actually recorded into bar sheets so you can remember and easily recall it visually okay so all you do at first is just loop one bar all right this is a this is this is where it starts you can just break it down one bar at a time i typically like to zoom in and then I'll just play uh, that one bar. So what I'm gonna do just for visual sake for you is I already have my bar sheets loaded up here. So I'm just gonna jump in between these two. Um, and I'm just gonna loop this one bar and just pay attention and listen. Okay, listen with me here. 
I've been compared to just about everything from 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 all right so pay attention to the snare drum all right this is typically where I, uh, my mind is working when I'm trying to wrap my my mind my ears around what I'm listening to pay attention to what syllables are landing on the the beats uh, remember kicks typically land on the first and third beat snares typically land on the second and fourth beat all right pay attention to what syllables are landing on those beats all right also in addition to this to make this even easier step number six is to make it easier on yourself engage the metronome that's gonna make it even more obvious okay because sometimes the the snares or the claps uh, may not be as loud or they may be a little bit more subtle so this makes it even more obvious what syllables are landing on each bar all right so I just engaged the uh, the metronome here in FL Studio, uh, right here, and now you're gonna hear the little when I play it back. Check it out. I've been compared to just about everything from 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 I've been compared to. All right, so. While I'm doing this, I'm just going to load up these bar sheets and I'm going to start listening back and I'm going to start writing down which syllables are landing on each beat and the words that lead up to those beats. So check this out. I've been compared to just about everything from I've been compared to just about everything. Beginning on the first beat. This is really subtle. This is a little bit of, uh, you know, this is a lot of ear training that goes into this, but I don't land on the first beat. I come in right after the first beat. All right, check this out. This is another benefit to uh to using a doll like this because if you're if you're struggling or if you want to make sure you know how you're landing on each beat you can actually engage your snap function to the fourth beat or one fourth beat right here notice how it changes the uh oh i'm sorry let me show you here and the doll here so what i, I had this set to bar like this um i just engaged it to one fourth beat and you see how it opens up the grid here where I can see more of these these uh these little beats right here all right so I can literally loop one beat at a time now this is powerful see I can loop a bar this is a bar right here from this little five right here to, to where it says six right here this is the fifth bar of this entire song this is where the verse begins on the fifth bar all right so I can loop this entire bar but if I want to I can also loop just one beat at a time that can help you get more like if you're listening to a whole bar at one time it may be a little bit tough for you at first to be able to tell how everything is landing on beat so you can literally just get almost microscopic with it you know and um zoom in on just sections of a bar so here's just one beat playing right here check this out so i being come is on the first beat right here so i'm just going to type that into my bar sheets right here let me just zoom out a little bit and show you this version. Try my best to show you both visuals at the same time. Um, so I'm just gonna notate this with a B right here on the first beat, um, cause I know I don't come in directly on it. Even if I zoom in further, you can see it. You can see this is the actual waveform. Can you see that? But let me just loop this first beat here. All right, so I see I being come. All right, and I don't say the whole word compared. All right, this is very important to know words that have multiple syllables don't always land within one beat section. Okay, so I come in right after the first beat and then I lead into the next beat with paired from compared check it out paired to 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 now take a breath right after paired to can you hear that all right i'm just going to zoom uh i mean over to the next beat just about 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 everything from 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 everything and when i'm zoomed out this zoomed in this close a lot of times i like to zoom back out listen to the whole bar now while looking at what i've put on my lyrics here just to double check and make sure that I'm accurate 
So as they say, sometimes it's hard to see the forest from the trees. So it's good to zoom out so you don't lose perspective of what you're listening to because sometimes you can actually miss things from being too zoomed in like I was just doing right there. So now I'm just gonna listen to the entire bar right here. I've been compared to just about everything from 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 and so that's a that's what I do. You know, I'll take a uh, something that I wrap and I'll break it down bar for bar if I need to doing it like this is a lot easier you know when you can load it into software like FL Studio for an example it doesn't have to be FL Studio it's just what I use um, but it makes it a lot quicker of a process you know it's, it looks kind of tedious right now because I'm sitting here and explaining explaining it to you and um, but uh, if I was just working without explaining it let me do another bar and I'll just show you realistically what it looks like so I'm just going to uh, just loop this next bar here. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and in between. Steve Voter Jay Z the Eminem and. All right, so I'm done with that one. And just to double check to make sure I'm accurate here, once again, I can go back one beat at a time just to. Just to to reaffirm what I did there was just correct. Check this out. Steve Voter, Steve Voter, Steve Voter. So, Steve Voter, I do the same thing on the second bar right, right here that I did on the first bar. There's a slight pause at the very beginning. Steve Voter, Steve Voter, Steve Voter. And then I'm leading in right into that second beat with T, and then I say J on the first uh, beginning of the second beat. J Z the J Z the J Z the J Z. All right, and then Eminem and 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 Eminem and. And then I begin the fourth beat right here on the end. In between, in between, in between, in between, in between. So that's uh that's that's exactly how I structure my lyrics. This is really good for. Um, not only beginner rappers, but if you're a, a, a more advanced rapper, this allows you to work on your patterns and stuff that you're creating. Like, <clears throat> you know, for an example, right here, just from these two bars that I just structured, I know that I pause on the first beat of each one of these very slightly. You know, that's that's a micro little movement I need to nail in order for all this to sound exactly the way that it does. I also know that I take a short breath on the uh, the end of the second beat of the first bar. So when I'm when I'm rapping this back, you know, let's say a week or so from now, and this isn't fresh in my mind, this is giving me all those cues of you remember, Cole, this is how you rapped it. Cause there's been plenty of times in the past in my earlier rap years where I would rap something and uh, come back and it, it sounds good and I come back weeks later and I cannot remember how I rapped it. You know, so this will help you in that process of actually structuring your lyrics uh, correctly. Okay, now one more bonus tip to this too. Not only does this help you remember how you're rapping your verses, um, but it can also help you study some of your favorite rappers. You know, so you can pull up a song, you know, and put it into your doll, detect the tempo, do everything that I taught you to do in this one, and then you can sit there and, and literally study your favorite rapper's flow. You can study your favorite rapper's rhyme schemes and even their song structure. You know, like how long their songs and how long their verses and stuff. If you want to get that nerdy with it, you can. And you can learn a lot from doing that. It gives you a, a much deeper understanding and uh, appreciation for your, your rappers, your favorite rappers. You know, that's actually, you know, what really caused me to fall in love with rapping is me memorizing some of my favorite rap songs as a kid. And I realized, oh, this isn't easy. Like this takes a lot of practice and finesse and um, discipline. And that's what caused me to fall in love with it. So by me learning the songs, um, it's almost like you're, con you're consuming that song and that song now becomes a part of you musically as a musician, as a rapper. And every rapper you'll ever hear has been influenced by other rappers. And you can hear it if you listen to their music. You can you can pick up on what other rappers may have influenced them. And not just other rappers, but just musicians, other genres, all that type of stuff. So I hope this video tutorial is helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, 
I got a special hookup for you. I wrote an ebook called The Number One Fundamental to Rapping, which explains to you how this whole rapping thing works. And it's not super deep book. You know, it's something you can, it's an easy read. You can read it in one evening, one sit down, and, you know, 15, 20 minutes or something like that. And uh, it gives you a really good understanding of how this whole rap thing works. It's something I wish I would have had when I first started rapping. And so if you're new to my channel, make sure that you get yourself a copy of that because I think you'll really enjoy it. All right. This is Cole Mods with ColeMindStudios.com and I'm signing off. And remember, when it comes to rapping, there's no rules. There's only techniques. Peace.